My daughter decided to be Hermione from Harry Potter this year, and I need to make her a wand. And also, I'm going to show you how I made this steel banjo shelf for various projects and what you can do with it. So I hope you stick around to the very end. Please enjoy the show, and happy Halloween. After a little research, I found that the Hermione wand is 10 and 3 quarters inch long and made from vine wood. Um, whatever that is. <laughs> Possibly grapevine, I'm not sure. So I decided to go with an olive wood because of its color and I like to turn olive wood. And this piece of olive wood is 1 by 1 by 12 inches approximately. One design element of the Hermione wand is vines with leaves. So I'm going to use some power relief carving. And to assist me with this, I made a steel shell for my wood lathe banjo. I started with a steel plate 11 by 5 by 5 8 inches thick. Drilled a 3 8 inch deep hole in the center of the steel with a 10.75 metric drill bit for a 12 millimeter by 1.25 tap. And because of the partially deep hole, you'll want to use a plug tap and then a bottoming tap, which will be for this Robert Sorby 5 8 inch tool rest post. Then I used my angle grinder to clean up the scale and rust, which took longer than expected, but not too long. Then I finished up with my orbital sander and went to like 220 grit. Now for carving out the vines and leaves, I'm using my variable speed cordless Dremel tool with a round cutting bit. I first started outlining all of the vines and the leaves. As for the tool rest shelf, it really helps. It gives me hand support, better tool control, it has total adjustability for all angles. Also, by carving on the lathe, I can turn the piece as if I was using a carving vise, and I'm already set up for dust collection. Then I switched over to this sanding bit after I finished clearing out the in-between material. I sporadically rubbed on green gilt cream on or near the vines, after which applied three coats of de-wax shellac, then finished up with a Scotch-Brite pad. Next, I intentionally added this liquid metal, it's silver slash pewter color, over the shellac because I wanted it to smear and get into some of the crevices. It's like gilt cream, but more metallic and runny. Here I'm using a Scotch-Brite pad for blending and feathering the colors together. Lastly, I added three more coats of shellac, then a coating of beeswax and mineral oil, and buffed that out.
one thing that I really like about this design is that I don't have to do any welding and I can change these shelves out for different size shelves. It's also extremely sturdy. Hardly no vibration. It's not going anywhere. You could even make specific jigs that will attach to this post. You could also make one of these yourself. Another great thing you could use the shelves for is indexing. You could use this table for is various tools and jigs. You could use a router with an L jig here. And one technique that I'm going to show you in a future video is using my biscuit joiner on this shelf to make horizontal lines on pieces. It's really neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this shell. I'm not the greatest carver in the world, but I think it came out pretty well. It definitely came out as intended. I didn't expect the finish and the wood to come out looking like it was almost fake. It looks plastic. It's kind of neat. So until next time, uh-oh, what happened? Come on, put the lights back on. There we go. Wow, let's just put that down. Let's try that again. So until next time, Stay safe in your shop at all times. Take care and thank you.